Hello everybody, my name is Saurabh Agarwal and uh, I uh, am the Product Manager for Cloud Application Integration uh, from Informatica and today we are going to talk about a new feature and functionality which came into our October 2017 release for Cloud Application Integration and uh, that is JDBC uh, connection with OERT enabled supporting pagination. So let's get started. So I will first log into uh, my Informatica account, Cloud account. So what we're going to see today is that how to define a JDBC connection with OERDA enabled that supports pagination. Uh, and we will see it uh, in action via two means. The first way would be through an API. And then how do we embed this API into any other OERDA client like Salesforce and make it work. So uh, I go to the design environment for cloud application integration. And uh, while it opens, uh, uh, just for this demo, I have used a MySQL database instance which is local to my laptop. And so we're gonna see some specific properties which is specific to my system. So there we go. We have uh, the JDBC connection defined. Uh, the name of the connection is word pagination. Uh, it's local to my agent because we need to have the JDBC client libraries available uh, for this to work. So we need an agent to for this to work on. Uh, I need to also add the user like uh, any other word enabled JDBC connection we have today. Uh, for us to be able to invoke this API and if you see here uh, I am referring to the JDBC connection URL being my database name and this is the place where I specify my uh, JDBC client libraries and the username and password so as you can see here there's no difference whatsoever from the way you define a JDBC connection which is OERDA enabled uh, so, uh, I, and we'll talk about what is the real difference that we are seeing now in terms of features and functionalities. So let me test this connection first. And uh, so it passes and then I will publish it. As part of publish, uh, we have the metadata available for this particular table. Uh, the table name is OERDA pagination table. Uh, before we see things over there, let me show you the table, how it looks like. So let me open up the MySQL workbench and uh, this is this is the table that I'm referring to so when I execute the query on this table so as you can see when I select uh, the rows from this table I'm seeing 21 rows there are three columns in this table record num which is more or less a unique key but we have not defined this as a primary key uh, we have record name and we have recorded all of these are unique but none of these are the primary keys in this case so when I look at the metadata that we have as part of uh, this connection I'm able to see the, the the type of columns that we have in the table but there's something called custom word entity keys which is required mainly because you want to ensure that uh, when we attach this word query to any of the word clients there should be one primary key available or at least a custom primary key which the user can define. So in this case, we have defined uh, the record num, which is an integer to be the primary key. But this is a customer primary key. This is not really uh, defined on the table itself. <laughs> Having done that, now if I go to, uh, and since that we have already published the connection, uh, then this is OERDA connection. We have uh, the API available uh, as part of a URL and let me invoke this API and see how it goes. So now as part of the syntax that we have for OData query invocation we have to define uh, the table name on top of this which is OData pagination table and after this I have to pass a slew of arguments so the new argument that we're talking about here is skip so when I say skip equal to two, what I'm doing here is that I'm escaping the first two records from the table, which means that I start reading from the record three. And as you can see here, my first record is record three, right? And then record four and so on and so forth. Uh, and we go till the very end to the 21st record, right? The reason being that we have not specified any top parameter here and in the absence of top parameter, by default shows 100 records, top 100 records. Uh, but you can see that we have skipped the first two records. Now I can probably use this uh, effectively in conjunction with 
uh, the top uh, argument so if I say I need to only look at the top two uh, skipping the first two right I'm looking at only third record and the fourth record right now how is this useful this is useful because uh, typically we will not have such a low uh, result set table we will typically have tables which have huge number of rows and it is really a performance issue when you want to browse over these uh, in one shot so it makes a lot of sense to have uh, the argument uh, functionality available uh, in, at the level of API where you can you know sort of paginate across these result sets uh, so skip and top working together in conjunction helps you achieve that what more you have this uh, the next link available uh, for you to leverage where uh, you can go to the next page uh, in, in the API way so uh, if you are skipping so let me give an example to you so if you want to let's say paginate with a page size of 2 then you are looking at the skip being 0 in the first shot and you look at top 2 right and then once you get there then you want to and if you see here we are getting the first record and the second record here and then the next option would be to actually look at uh, the third and fourth record and if you look at uh, the next uh, link for that it would be this so if I were to just copy this and paste it over here you should three, see three and fourth record and there you go you can see the third record and you can see the fourth record right so with this you can easily paginate you can build your scripts around the old uh, uh, API implementation where you can call these APIs and uh, you can also build your own applications with the help of this. So this is what is available right now as part of the October 2017 release in, in cloud application integration. Uh, and this is at the A level of API. But what is more powerful here is that, you know, the OData clients like Salesforce can also embed this kind of functionality and let you paginate through. And let me give you an example of that. So I'm going to log into, I've logged into my Salesforce account. Uh, I have to first define an external data source. Uh, in this case, I've already defined one. So this is my external data source, MySQL, wherein I'm configuring the URL, the root URL, to be the external data source connection, right? And I have also enabled this uh, pagination via the property called server-driven pagination, right? Everything else remains the same. And when I say save on this, it also gives me an option to validate and sync. Uh, in this case, because I have already done this uh, work earlier, but this one has been republished, I am able to sync this again. And when I sync it, this is available as a custom object, external object within the context of Salesforce. So let me define a new tab uh, which uses this external object, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to define a new tab which is uh, Okay, uh, I've already defined one of the tabs here, so probably me, let me get back to that. Uh, there you go. So we have this tab available, which I've already defined prior to this demonstration. And as you can see, that I have chosen, uh, and I, I now I can add this uh, onto my, let me bring this tab onto the dashboard here. And let me say go. And here you can see I am displaying only 10 records. And the reason for that is because I have chosen the page size to be 10. If I were to say page size is 25, I would be able to see the entire slew of records here, which is 21 here, right? However, to demonstra demonstrate the paging uh, support that we have now, let me choose 10 here. And what we see now is that it shows 10 as a page size, and then there's an option to go next. And when you say next, it goes to uh, the next 10 records and then when you say next again it shows you the next 10 records in this case there's only one record which is available so you can actually think of it this way uh, the page size or uh, the number of records per page is, mo is more like a top functionality uh, and uh, the number of pages is more of a, a you know skip functionality which is again a page size driven thing so uh, in the Salesforce uh, which is an OERTA client, we can also leverage the pagination support that is available as part of the OERTA JDBC connection uh, feature which came in October 2017 release. So that's all I had today for the demo. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.